are no longer sure of the Buari in Aso Rock. Northern Edders raise an alarm, says, the Buari they know will not leave them in the hands of bandits and Boko Haram to be killed. Hey, <laughs> I'm beginning to love this game. When I want to begin cry, no, 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 no. Don't cry. We are all in this. Say, when people begin, they talk, say, it be like, say, something, not they know, ma. That's 2017, yes. Say, it be like, say, something, not they know, ma. All of una can they talk. Una want uh, overthrow our brother, this and this and that. But that was not what Nigerians were talking about. What this president is doing is not how to go about things. He should resign. That is what they were saying. Even some people say, if one can see talk, say the president, Mama the Wari Nigerians voted for, say, you don't me. We heard so many stories. And come couple with what it can they happen for us so rock. It can't be like, say, it won't be true or it won't be. We not understand. You understand? But all this why you people were busy covering up. You understand? The Northerners were busy covering up. You don't you don't you don't even dare say anything. If you people can recall what happened during NSAS protest when Nigerian youth came out in March, you know, asking Nigerian governments to NSAS, Northerners say they're not going to protest against their brother. This is not the issue of brother or whatever. What is happening is affecting every other person, everyone in this country. If you even look into the matter very well, now this, now them, this matter affects us. But just because, say, worry is from the north, hmm, nobody should go there. Anyway, guys, let's get straight to the news. We are no longer sure of the Buari we have in Nasorok. The Buari we know will not leave us in the hands of bandits and Boko Haram to be killed. Northern Elders raise an alarm. The Northern Elders Forum, NEF, has said that the Northern region of Nigeria had problems, including insecurity, even before President Muhammad Buhari took over power in 2015. But it was much better then when it's what its current state. The spokesman of NEF, Akim Baba Ahmed, who stated this, while featuring on Trust TV Daily Police program on Tuesday, said that the North opted for President Muhammad Buhari whom they are not sure again in 2015 because as a retired army general, they thought he would have adequately tackled insecurity in the region. He said that the former president, Kulok Jonathan, was basically seen as a weak leader while Buhari was believed to be a tough man who is intolerant of corruption and had since 2003 persistently asked Nigerians to trust him. According to Baba Ahmed, the reasons for supporting and trusting President Muhammad Buhari have been defeated as about 25% of Northerners have either been displaced or are being displaced from their homes, while agriculture and animal husbandry, which is the major business in the North, are seriously threatened. And the worst part of it is that these governments are not even showing any sign of ending it. He said the North, seven years ago, had problems, security, and above the population. We did not have too much prospects for economic development. In fact, seven years ago, the North was already showing signs of severe decline economically. But seven years ago is in is infinitely better than where we are today. The Northern Forum was in the front line of the campaign to put President 
Muhammad Buhari in office, and we believe that he was going to turn the fortunes of Nigeria and the North around. We had no doubt that he was going to be the solution to Boko Haram. We just thought Jonathan was weak, willed and just weak as a leader. We regret ever supporting President Muhammad Buhari. But the worst part of it is that we do not actually understand the Buhari in Asso Rock right now. President Buhari was a former general, a tough man, intolerant of corruption, and had persistently asked Nigerians to trust him in 2003, 2007, and 2011. Finally, he said, let's, finally we said, let's throw our weight behind him and see if we can get there. And we did not. Today, quite possibly, 25, 20 to 25% of Northerners have been or are being displaced from where they live. Agriculture and animal husbandry and forestry, which are the foundations of the Northern economy, are severely threatened. Our economy is completely gone. The Nigeria economy is collapsing, but the Northern economy is actually gone. There is hardly any production going on, he said. Well, I don't know whether to cry for now, to cry with you now or, or, or whatever. The truth is that the situation of the country is really very bad. Maybe you people over trusted the Buhari you are talking about and saying that you are not too sure of what is going on now. Maybe Unago asks plenty questions. What is actually going on in Asorok? I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you very much for listening.